Thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, only take your second and it would be much appreciated. Thank you in advance. Right, so you've probably heard the terms widows and orphans and possibly runts and possibly rivers. The way to look at all this, the way to remember what all these things are, is the widow is at the top of the family tree. The orphan is at the bottom of the family tree. The runt is in the middle of the family tree. A river is basically as it sounds. It's a river running through your text. I'm wrapped up a little bit here because it's absolutely <laughs> brass monkeys today. So at the top of the page here, what we've got is we've got a line carried over from the paragraph on the previous page. Now that's what's known as a widow, whether it's a line or a word or a, a few words. It's, it's not a good look. Ideally, we try to avoid that. Some people would just push that next chapter down. So we've got the whole chapter onto the next page. Others will mess about with hyphenation and kerning. And there's a link here for that. But we're not going to go through all that now. I'm just here to talk about what each thing is. It's also important to point out when fixing your paragraph so that the paragraph stays the, stays the same, stays together in this case, um, that it doesn't look any different than any other paragraph. And also it's important to, to note that everybody looks at things differently. Um, but overall, most people look at widows like I'm showing you now, orphans like I'm showing you now, runts like I'm showing you now. But people mix them about. They have their uh, orphan as a runt. They don't use the term runt. Right, what we're looking at now is we're looking for runts. And here's one here. So basically, a runt is a straggler, something different, something that um, wasn't meant to be there. Um, it's different from the rest. And it sticks out like a sore thumb. And what else it does, as you can see here, it leaves the gap, it leaves a bigger gap, a bigger space, and it can look untidy. Just to have a single word on there, I could try to pull the in up onto here after prepare. So if I just take those there, go to font, click kerning, that's took the in up, and that's give me all this here. If I take this down now, it's best not to take it down too much, a little bit at a time. So okay, that's closed up the gaps between the letters. That's called kerning. And it's took that up into the next line. So what we've got here is, at the bottom of the page, a single line, which is part of a paragraph. Now that paragraph is made up here of three lines. And this one here now is classed as an orphan. If it was just a single line with a full stop on the end, that's fine. No problem whatsoever. You, that wouldn't be classed as an orphan because it's finished, it's done with. And... When you go on to the next page, you start a new paragraph. We want that fixing. So what do we do? Well, we could push the whole thing onto the next page. Basically, we're doing what we've done with the widow. We're just shuffling the paragraphs about. Yeah, we've got a bigger gap, but it looks a lot neater like that than just a single line. No comma, no nothing at the end of it. Just go straight onto the next page. And that's very, very untidy. Or, if I go back, what about... Have we, have we really got room there? Let's just double check to bring it up. Well, yeah, we've managed to get away with that by just bringing it up one. But the paragraph is still split. And what we end up here with, the widow, because it's now at the top of the page to have a single line. Making the reading experience um, easy and enjoyable without someone's eyes sort of going from one thing to another or that didn't look right or it hasn't read hasn't flowed, you know, and that, that's important, getting that flowing right. So what's a river? When you look at rivers, I've got a bit of an extreme example here. As you can see, sometimes when you're actually writing your text, you can end up with lines going through it. This is a bit smooth. This is a, a real exaggeration. But sometimes it's really jagged, but you can see a line. So when you're looking at your page, all you see is these lines. They really detract from the story. So what can you do to fix them? Well, you can just 
change a few words once you've completed it once you've got everything in position even just moving a few words over now, as you can see here they've hyphenated everything to get these to get this um, image but you'd make sure that a word would cross here for instance and another one would cross here cross there you break all that up with words even if it meant kerning and like I say I've, I've blinked the video it's an awful look change it about even if you have to change a word but don't end up with something like this um, because it will spoil your whole book so I hope that explains things a little bit easier for you.